Okay, it is time to look at some results from the oxalic vapor trial. So I had four hives. Three of those hives were controls out of my fall experiment. And one of them was a random hive from uh, my production hives. So I've got the sticky boards here. Let's have a look. This is the seven of clubs, one of the controls. Go one mite. There's a little bit of the oxalic residue. Two mites. Okay, write that down. Seven of clubs. Did I say two, right? Okay, well, that's not very exciting. Sooner or later, we're going to find some mites, guys. I don't know when and I don't know how. Okay, this is the eight of clubs. That's one. It was upside down, but you can see it there, that little round thing. So there's one, two, right there, Three. Eight of clubs, three mites. This is the six of diamonds. It looks like it's a bit of a smaller hive because the debris is pretty confined to that one wall. I'm prepared to say no mites on that one. Okay, and this is the last one, and this is one from the production hives, and I think we got mites here, guys. Uh, okay, ooh. Mites galore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. I better get a more scientific way of doing this. Stand on, hang on. Okay, starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, ooh, two right close to here, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 4, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 77 mites. Well, ain't that interesting. Now I'm gonna go gonna go back into the shed for a second and check something because there was one hive that we kind of double dosed. I'm interested to see if it's that one there. Don't think it is. Stand by. Okay, so back from the shed. For sure the hive that got the higher dose was not the one with all the mites. So that's that's that. I'll just give you a quick look at this uh, sticky board for yourselves, just so you believe me here. Hang on a second. Okay, so all those little brown specks, like, I'm gonna hold this still here. There and there and there and there and there, there and there and there. Some mite. Now notice you're looking for these very round, so that's a mite, whereas these other things are bits of wax. That one there is a mite. That's a mite. That's a mite. That's a mite. That's a mite, but it's got a sitting on top of a piece of wax, so it looks kind of funny. Two mites right there. So that's 77 bees. Not quite sure what that represents. Um, let me do a little math, hang on. Okay, so 77 bees. If that hive has like 10,000 bees in it, which is kind of a smallish single uh, this time of year, then it would be still less than 1% that we, so we knocked down about, you know, seven tenths of a percent, uh, like so seven tenths of a mite, uh, seven tenths of a percent. So less than one mite per every hundred bees, if it has 10,000 bees in it. Uh, I was talking to Dr. Curry about trying to estimate colony sizes in, these conditions and of course those clusters are very elastic based on temperature uh, cluster you know those if I warm the shed up to 10 degrees most of my hives will be hanging out the front at five degrees they're pretty tight uh, why did that one okay so did I knock down all lots of mites or you know most of the mites in each hive and that was the only hive that had lots of mites or did we uh, do you know did somehow 
the oxalic hit that one in a sweet way, maybe got inside the cluster and away the rest. Uh, don't know. So, but we did knock down some mites for the first damn time. So that's something. So the next task will be to try to replicate that again on more hives. So I think I will pull, oh, the other thing I should, so I should find some more hives with mites in them and I should sample this one with the bee sucker to see if I can prove that it has, right? So we got three hives, low mites on the stickies, one hive, high mites on the stickies. I should do a comparative bee sample. I've collected these and I'll uh, assess those a day or two. They're, they're kind of ripening on the workbench. Uh, so I should sample these the same way from the top bars and see if I can get that to match these results. If that were the case, then I think we've got, you know, we're starting to get a hint as to what, how to proceed here. So anyway, that's uh, what I got for tonight. Just a quick results on these, uh, on these stickies and uh, we'll sleep on it and get back at her tomorrow.